How's it going guys? Electron Man. Well, we got another watch review we're going to do today. Actually, I got this one for my sister. Thanks, sis. Um, this is a Naviforce. I've been seeing them um, advertised like Amazon. They're pretty popular. Um, I, I, I kind of give you my breakdown so far on it. I, I've kind of checked it out pretty good. And uh, Well, let's go ahead and get the particulars and I'll kind of give you my, my overall view of the watch in, in the end. But uh, it's, a, it's nice sized. I like It's got a flat crystal, which is kind of unusual. I kind of like it. It's kind of cool. Um, Size-wise, we're looking at a, a 44. It's a nice size. It's 44 millimeter. Uh, actual bezel size is like a 38. So this is this is a nice hardy size watch. Um, no no, uh, no thrills here, but you can get it anywhere from chronograph to half digital, half analog. Uh, this is just one particular one, but I think it kind of gives you a good feel for the whole, you know, line of watches um, let's see what the thickness is here 10 millimeters 10 and a half millimeters what's the weight on this baby it's not real heavy I'm guessing 75 80 grams zero it out ah, it's a little heavy 61 grams so yeah it's not a real heavy watch um, of course, you know, it's got a band, a leather band, or simulated leather band on it, so that, that reduces the weight, you know, a metal band would definitely be another 20 or so grams, but <clears throat> anyway, let's go ahead and get into the to watch, and I'll get you some good close-up views of it. This is a really pretty cool style one. I like it. Um, I think it's something you can support. Definitely a day-to-day -day watch, um, which I'm kind of wanting to start doing some of these day-to-days, um, you know, just ones that, that uh, you know, you're not afraid to run around all day long and uh, just use it as what you do as a watch. Um, you know, uh, take shire in it. Uh, you know, change your order car if you need to. You know, I kind of look at these as they're not disposable watches, but you know, you break one of these, you're not out the mint. I mean, this is a this is like a twenty-five, thirty-dollar watch, and I would rate it with uh, a Timex. I mean, I think it's kind of in that range. Um, definitely. <clears throat> Definitely a step below, like an Elise, you know, and obviously like, because to me Elise is more like a Citizen or Seiko. And uh, anyway, this is more of a Timex. Uh, I'm trying to do another brand that's kind of an Elgin. Those are kind of that that length or that style of watch. But anyway, we'll get back to it. Uh, my feelings on the watch so far. I mean, it's keeping really good time. I've had it for a week or so. And in fact, I had to put a battery in it and. Uh, she, she got it second hand and it, it wasn't working, but the, I put a battery in it and no problem there. I'm, I probably should have shown putting a battery in it, but I mean, it's kind of standard. I will give you the positives on it. I do like a, it does have a screw on back, you know, which definitely is a, a click above a lot of Timexes and some of the other ones. Um, it does have an O-ring in it. Um, and uh, so, you know, me saying, you know, this is something that I'd be comfortable to go, you know, swimming in or, or take a shower or bath in i mean i wouldn't it's not a snorkeling watch or a diving watch but it's definitely uh or that ip86 or 68 or whatever uh i mean it's definitely you could probably you could put it in a glass of water and it'd probably be fine is what i'm saying this is it's you know or take a steam shower or whatever and you shouldn't have any problem with it um with the o-ring and, and i can tell it's got a it's got an o-ring in the in the crown as well but uh here let me get you some good close-up views of it different kind of I definitely I'm doing a little more background light this time. I'm trying to get that glare off of it. It seems like I have a lot of glare on it, and uh, trying to get away from that. Hopefully, you're getting a good view of that. So anyway, uh, kind of rating the watch. I give it like a three star out of five. Um, I mean, it's like I said, it's more like a Timex or maybe even a Casio or something along those lines. But uh, the pros are price range. I mean, we're talking you know sub thirty dollar watch. Uh, another pro is, is I feel like it's fairly water resistant. Like I said, it's got an O-ring screw on back. feels like the crown's good and tight, so I'm sure there's an O-ring in there. Uh, it appears like it'll probably take the water pretty good. Um, I like the lightness, lightweightness of it. It'd be, you know, real easy to wear daily. Not feeling like you're walking around with a one pound weight on the end of your arm. Um, construction wise, it's, you know, it's, it's all metal. It's, uh, it looks like it's stainless steel more than likely. Um, the band... 
Well, we'll have to go into the cons on that. I'm not real impressed with the band. It's, I could tell you this is not real leather. And I mean, spend the extra dollar and, and, and you know, as a matter of fact, and, and make a real band. This, this is definitely, I, I'm betting, betting this is fake leather, fake, fake leather, or whatever you want to call it. Plasty leather, plasty, plasty leather. <laughs> there you go. But, uh, the band leaves something to desire as far as I'm concerned. Um, if I were to probably shop for one of these, I would probably, or I might even buy, it. you know, I'd rather have a silicone band on here, um, a metal band, or a true leather band. Um, I mean, to me, they just went cheap on it. But, I mean, at that price range, I guess you, you have to cut somewhere. So, probably one of the biggest cons to me is the band. I'm not impressed with the, the band at all. In fact, you can tell it already looks like it's trying to do what that typical fax leather does is... It starts kind of just like peeling off but this this watch was brand new in fact i had to pull the seals off of it so it, somebody got it and then it set until the battery went dead and probably set the shell somewhere but anyway I'm, I'm sitting there babbling on um all in all like i said i, I give it like a three maybe a three and a half it, time wise it's keeping good time the movement in it is definitely uh cheap cheap chinese or you know the real small J Japanese kind of a Timex type movement nothing nothing to brag about but they're quartz and they keep great time I mean I'm not criticized you know you get a sub $30 watch it's probably gonna be a you know a, a basically a Timex clone uh, or, or they usually call them Japanese movements a, a, a clone of a Japanese movement um, you know low par I mean you know the actual time is on about the size of a dime on the inside of it if that gives you any idea um, little rag letter arm i mean it's there's nothing special about the inside of this watch but for the money i think it makes a great watch to go sporting around every day definitely an everyday watch like i said it keeps good time um I, not something i'd be ashamed to put on my arm either i mean aesthetically it's it's pretty cool i, I do like this particular style and uh you know it's got the date and uh and time and, and it does have a second hand let me go ahead and put it on for you guys and see what you think about it looking on I will give it a little bit. At least it does have a, a big enough band even for my big wrist. So most people shouldn't have a problem wearing it. I mean, size-wise, I, I like the band uh, as far as it's nice and size-wise. And I actually like a silicone or a leather band, you know, for in the summertime if you're out, you know, playing disc golf or whatever uh, or golfing. You know, the, the leather bands seem to absorb your sweat a lot more than a, than a silicone and a metal. So, you know, a, a nice... Leather band, nothing wrong with it. In fact, uh, if I were going to wear this every day, I'd probably just go ahead and spend the eight or ten bucks and find me a leather band for it. But anyway, there you go. There's what it looks like on the wrist. I mean, uh, nothing to be ashamed of. In fact, uh, I would imagine people would possibly compliment that. I mean, it's definitely uh, nothing to be ashamed of. I, li I do like the like. I like the size. It's nice sized, easy to read. Does have luminous dials on it. Like I said, all in all. Um, I think it's a great day-to-day -day watch. Uh, you know, little, probably get a little cheaper than you can at Timex, but I think you're getting probably pretty bad, much the same quality. Um, just a good old everyday sporting watch. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, let me give you a good, nice close-up there. Hopefully it's not reflected too bad. I'll kind of move it around so you can get a good view of it. I like how light it is. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this watch review. Uh, check out all my watch reviews. Um, I've done a lot of the leaves, uh, Casios. I, I've covered them all. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please uh, take a chance to uh, like the video. That really helps me out. And uh, hit the subscribe button so you can catch uh, all my watch reviews. And as well, hit that bell so you know when my next video comes out. And as always, have a great day. This is the Electron Man.